G'day, I'm Dave, and we're looking at ways of using a multimeter or some cheaper alternatives if you don't have a multimeter. As we're comparing different techniques of verifying a switch is working, we're going to have the multimeter and two different continuity meters, as well as some jumper cables to make life a little easier. If you notice some previous videos, when we're diagnosing whether a switch works, we're bringing our switch up, we're simply turning on our multimeter, and we're using the sound, well, of course we always test whether it's working, to come to our switch and test whether the switch is working. Of course, you have to press the switch in order to get the power to flow through. Quite often, that's sometimes difficult, trying to hold all that in place. A very cheap solution is these little alligators that you can get just about anywhere for less than a dollar per. Simply clipping those onto your screws makes it much easier, rather than holding three things at the same time, to do the exact same test. By using the alligators onto these, we're not going to get an absolute true reading because these wires are quite thin, but now we're going to have to watch the meter and watch it jump, letting us know that indeed the switch is truly working. This is one way of doing a testing using a multimeter. However, multimeters are one of your more expensive options. Other options that are on the market, these are nothing more than two batteries, a flashlight in the end, and your two clips are all in one together. We open it up and just like with the multimeter, we test. There's our light coming on to let us know it's working. We come to our two wires and we watch for the light as we pull that switch. With the alligator clip, of course, we can clip that right on, free up one hand to push and look for that light. One of these little meters is about $4. A different type of continuity meter does the same thing and even easier to use, but slightly more expensive. This is more in the $10 market. One finger on the one wire, and I'm actually using my body to transfer the power through this. But I'm not dealing with any power that I have to actually worry about. I touch onto that, and then I squeeze and look for that red light. This is very handy because again, I'm holding it with the same hand that I'm actually allowing the power to come through my body. And as long as the power is not on the device, it's a perfectly safe thing to use. Again, another very cheap alternative, very easy to afford, and well worth buying in order to save a tool. Do any of your tools need a repair? Visit us at ereplacementparts.com and easily find the parts you need and have them shipped right to your door.